Hi there, and thank you for joining me at the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantrell, here to give you financial tips and tricks as you get to know your money better. We're on a movement, people. So, if you recall, um, I did tell you to go ahead and request your credit reports. And if you didn't get a chance to do that yet, go ahead and click the link that's in the description box. And that's where you will find out, watch the video to tell you exactly how to request your three credit reports for free. That would be Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. So once you have your credit reports, then you can go ahead and look at them to make sure that they are the way they're supposed to be. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm sharing my screen with you right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go through each one of these credit reports with you and you'll be able to see what you need to dispute or make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be. So first, we're going to start with, um, let's see, TransUnion. Okay, so let's see, you say, this says TransUnion here. Now, what you're going to do is basically every one of the credit reports should basically look the same. So you see here you have um, Experian, Equifax, but we're going to start with TransUnion. Okay, so uh, let's see. So what you're going to do first is look and make sure that all of the information at the beginning of the credit report is correct. You're going to read uh, every area. So your social, make sure that's right, your name and all any aliases that you've had, your date of birth. You see here are all of the addresses that people have for you. Make sure those are all up to date. Um, telephone numbers, employment, make sure that is accurate as well. And then look at the public records that are against you or that they have about you. So for this particular person, they had a chapter 13 bankruptcy and it was dismissed. So if any of that information is incorrect, make sure you highlight that and you will come back to it so that you can dispute it later. As you scroll down, there's more public records. This particular person has a mortgage on their record but you're gonna scroll down here because that same mortgage or that home loan, you need to make sure that all of this information is correct. So in this area, it's an adverse account. So an adverse account is an account that is not necessarily in good standing. As you can see here, this person um, looks like they are repeatedly 120 days past due. Um, and so this is, again, you're going to look at the home loan. You're going to make sure that the date that you open it is correct. All of this information is correct. And especially the balance. You want to make sure that they are accurately reporting your balance, current balance and the balance you started with. You also want to make sure your monthly note is correct. And you want to make sure that if you were not delinquent like this person was, you need to make sure that you take note of that and, and say, no, I wasn't dealing with these days because you're going to dispute that. Okay, moving on to the accounts that are in good standing. One is the Capital One Bank. So this particular person, again, has the date open. You make to make sure that's accurate. You need to make sure that the balance is correct and the highest balance that you had and that the payment history is accurate or correct these are inquiries that are made on your credit or your credit score you need to make sure that you authorize these and then as you go down you can see there's an area where you'll be able to submit a consumer statement this is a statement saying um it might be something that has a reference to your like the person's chapter 13 above you know how they said they had the chapter 13 dismissed you can put a statement there in reference to that and so now let's go on to what your Experian credit report looks like 
So with Experian, let me close that down for you. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit. With the Experian, you see it's set up a little bit different. And this actual sample credit report has like your explanations on the side. So you can see here that at the top, of course, you're going to go in the area that says your name and all of the information. Um, and then you're going to scroll down again. And this one has public records at the top. Again, you need to make sure all of that is accurate. Scrolling down, these are the credit items. So they have um, the status here will tell you, hey, it's past due or it's current, up to date. And you will see this one says it's 60 days past due, 30 days past due etc. So you need to make sure again, like I said, credit limit is correct. If you were not past due on anything, you need to make note of that. Scrolling down, you are going to see in your, uh, the rest of your credit report that there are accounts that have good standing. So this one is their automobile financing and they it, just make sure that the total amount is correct here make sure your monthly payment is correct and there's a reason why i'm saying all of this because this information that is on your credit report is going to be how your credit score is deemed if you have incorrect amounts here or late payments or monthly payment is incorrect all of that is factored in when your credit score is totaled. And you're just going to make sure, like I said before in the other report, that the information is accurate. These people requested information about you, about your credit. And scrolling down, um, the personal information is later on in the Experian credit report. And so there's addresses. Again, check those. Check your social, date of birth, your current address, your previous addresses, your names. Make sure all that stuff is correct. If it's not, make note of that. Now we're going to go to the Equifax report. Equifax report is um, a little bit more intricate than the others, more involved. And that's because they give you a breakdown of what it is. But then they're going to, um, and then see there's a, a, a chart, a graph. But here, and they show you the different accounts that you have. That report. If you scroll down in your report, you see that information is almost the same again. So these are the open accounts, the balance, the amount, the date you open it, payment, paying as agreed. So these accounts look like they're in good standing. And as you see here, it gives a breakdown of monthly payment history. So, um, like I said, Equifax is a little bit more intricate because it gives you, okay, you paid on time all this time. Oh, October 2009, you were 60 days past due. Make sure that's correct. If it's not, like I said, dispute it. Moving on down, um, those are all of the accounts that they have, that the person has. And then you're going to look at the closed accounts. Again, you're going to look at the, make, the accounts, make sure that they were closed. Was it charged off? Is that correct? Um, is that account even yours? Um, how much was it? So 
what was the charge off amount and revolving accounts, closed accounts that were previously open. So Capital One and it said it was charged off as well. You just want to make sure, like I said before, I keep on saying that this information is correct. You don't want anything reported on your credit report that is incorrect. In addition, if it's on there and it's been on there for like, say this is 2019, right? And it was on there since 2010. And that's the last time reported. You're going to have to make sure that you also uh, write information or write letters to take that off of your credit report. But of course, we'll go through that in the next video that I make. And I'm going to upload that later on because I want to show you exactly what type of dispute letters you should use, what you need to say to dispute certain situations, and um, give you the well, you'll have the addresses of where you're supposed to send all this information because you have your credit report. But you need to be really on it to make sure that everything is accurate. And this is how you're going to get to know your money better. This is how you're going to get your finances in order so that you can move on to the next phase of making sure that you have all of your ducks in a row. Okay, so... That's it. If you have any questions or um, you need more information, please feel free to comment in the comment section. Also, subscribe so that you know exactly when I'm going to upload another video to give you more information on how to get to know your money. And please, if you have not requested your credit reports just yet, make sure that you watch the video in the description in the, the link and click the link and go to that video so that you know exactly how to request your three credit reports for free and then come on back to the financial spotlight so that you can go forth and learn how to dispute anything that's incorrect on your report hopefully you're having a great day guys and thank you so much again for joining me here at the financial spotlight